In the U.S., over 5.4 million children and teenagers are providing care to at least one sick or disabled family member. That's right. These young individuals are called caregiving youth, and they face a lot of obstacles, but one organization in our area is hoping to change that. That's right. The American Association of Caregiving Youth, founded in Boca Raton, has been at the forefront of addressing the needs of this huge and hidden population for over 16 years. Joining us to tell us more about AACY and the upcoming fundraising event is the organization's founder. Founder Connie Siskowski. Connie, so good to see you. Thank you, and likewise, Matt. <laughs> we're so excited about the breakfast, and not only were, are we the only uh, organization in Palm Beach County, we're the only organization in our country that has recognized and supported this population who get no kind of government support, even though their numbers are huge, with more than 290,000 in public, middle, and high schools in, in the state of Florida. Unbelievable. And Connie, you know, when it comes to starting this organization, you know, we hear about the need. What made you really want to do something like this in our community? So when I was in middle school, I took care of my grandfather. And um, in doing so, you know, it was at a time when trauma in children wasn't really recognized. And not only did I find him no longer breathing when I went to take him some medication, but then he was no longer in my life and my parents were divorced and he was my like hero. So then I didn't have him and it, it didn't affect my professional life because I went on to be a nurse but it affected my personal life. And it wasn't until I moved to Florida and I was in counseling that I realized this. And then learning about the work that the UK has been doing since the early 1990s to support young carers, you know, I just felt compelled after I had done my doctoral research here at Lynn University mm -hmm. about this population. Yeah, can you explain a little bit to, to people who qualifies as a caregiving youth? So the range can be wide, but those who qualify for our Caregiving Youth Project um, do at least 20 hours a week, many more, in addition to their school, which is their job to learn. Um, plus, they do everything that an adult family caregiver would do. They do personal care, they do medications, as well as household responsibilities. And, you know, it's hard enough when you're in middle school or when you're young and your brain is developing um, and so are your hormones are raging um, to deal with that, but then to have the responsibility for another person. On the flip side, it's hard, but it also gives these kids purpose in life. And so that's something that we have to address when their care receiver dies. Yeah. yeah, and certainly such a huge responsibility for these young kids that really shouldn't even be on the forefront of their mind and they're taking that on. Where do you even start to find the, the people in our area that need this help? Well, fortunately, the school district, which is also the first in our country to support this population, uh, has an agreement with us so that we wow. can go to the schools. We identify the children beginning in sixth grade. And this year, for the first time, we just reached the 600 mark. Wow. So we have 600 middle and high school students who are caregiving youth in our Caregiving Youth Project. And we have a big fundraising breakfast we coming up next Tuesday. I'm so thankful that yes. I get to be a part of it again. Thank you for inviding me back. Um, uh, and the great news is there's still tickets available. So wait, people can come join us. There are still tickets available. And we're so proud to support uh, those that have contributed to the greater community. So I learned that, you know, community doesn't have any boundaries. And this is what uh, these folks that are receiving awards um, give back. Mm. It's, it's such an incredible organization. Where can people go if they want to find out more information? They can about go to our website, <laughs> which is easy, aacy.org. <laughs> A-A-C-Y. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining nice to us. meet you. Too. Okay. Right. We have Take more care. CBS 12 News at 9 coming up after this. Hi, I'm Matt Lincoln for CBS 12 News. Click the like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.